we're gonna unbox the Stitch Fix, which is very kind of small for them. And if you remember the last two, I have kept everything from. And I've been, like there's nothing that's like thrilled me and like excited me, but I liked it all. And if you bought all five, it's a good price. So, I mean, they've been improving um, and listening to my feedback recently, and I appreciate that. And really, the shirt that I really liked last time, the bright one with all stripes, I hardly wear that. But the other two, the orange one, and then the green one with like the ruffle things I don't really like, I wear those all the time in the shorts. So, um, it's kind of interesting sometimes. I haven't worn the nice lacy blue one because that would just be like a short shirt. So, let's just get to it. Here it is. I am going to probably, oh my gosh, it's like, see how much room? Um, it is probably going to be a little bit, um, I'm going to probably schedule one for a little bit later because I don't, I have so many clothes now and stuff. So here's this, here's my crumpled up, come on, it's a crumple. It's a bad crumple. Probably because it's like, moving around and stuff. So, let's see. The price point is, if I bought all five and I have that $20 um, styling fee, it'd be $184. FYI, I would love to use my referral code if you're going to try Stitch Fix because I only going to use it one and I appreciate it. If you like this video, please um, thumb it up, please share, subscribe, love it, thanks. Okay, so um, you get this card and it's like a little styling card that tells you two different ways you can style it. Normally I've noticed that it's like a like laid back kind of casual way you can style it and like a more fancy one. So, okay. Hi Mandy, so glad you glad to be styling you for another fix again so soon. It was soon, I meant to like switch it further, but um yes, I really do watch your YouTube reviews and I love them. They I love you. Um they really help me understand your style and what you love to wear. So the dogs are barking up the wrong tree. Winky face. Oh my gosh, I don't understand. That's like because if you watch my previous video and I'll try to remember to post it, I said I really want to know if she's watching them, so say something like, don't go barking up the wrong tree, your dog's barking up the wrong tree. And she watched it. And she remembered that. So you, I should write an email and say that how awesome that is. So I'll do that. I don't know if it'll get to you. I don't know how that works. But anyway, um, so the dogs, the dogs are barking up the wrong tree. For this fix, I wanted to send you the summer brights I know you love and also incorporate some fun tops for a night out. I need some night out tops. Um, you are also, oh, you also mentioned skinny jeans, so I chose the soft and stretchy, is it Mavi or Mavi? I don't know, jeans and coral. Yes, coral. As long as they're not like skin toned and I look like a weird elephant, I'll be happy. Um, I love coral. If it's a true coral, please. Um, these will look great with the Renee C printed blouse from your April fix. I'll get back to you on that. I can't remember. Um, with the bold fitted Adler top by Market and Spruce. For a fun night out, try the Tucker split back top with the pink shorts from your last fix or the lacy, sexy lace Rockland top by Paper Moon with the pop of color Devon pleated mini skirt from La Vapella. Have fun trying everything on. I can't wait to see you on your next vid. XO Alexandra. Yes. Thank you, Alexandra. That's so exciting, right? Like, please be excited with me. I don't know. My subscribers are awesome. You probably are so totally excited with me. Okay. So, let's see how much these these things are. And so, Alexandra, just know, like, I am in the process of hopefully selling this business right here. And it's not going to be real. And then I have to move. And then I'm going to have to move again because I'm starting a new job. So I probably will wait a month or like probably six to eight weeks to get another one. It's nothing against you. You've been doing a really good job. Okay, these are a little bit too flesh toned, so I will probably need your feedback on these friends because I don't want to look naked. Like, you know, you ever see somebody walking down the street and they have like skin toned stuff on, and you're like, ugh. I don't want that to be me. Okay. They kind of look like tomato soup, like if you use milk. Oh, these are, sorry, I forgot what I was doing. These are $98. But, I mean, that's how much stuff is. My floor is clean. I have to clean it every time somebody comes over, so. Ooh. Ooh. I love it already. It's like black lace, and I think black lace is sexy. I hope you can hear me, and I hope you can see me, because I don't want to do it in my room again and stuff. So this is the Paper Moon Rockland Lace Detail Knit Top. It's $44. This is a pretty color. This is, I'm going to say, okay, the Lovapella pleated mini skirt, $38. Oh. Yes, it's pockets. Okay, $38 is about, oh, well, this is ugly, but that's okay. I would assume that this is 
Well, let's just look. This is the Renee C. And uh, Tucker Mixed Print Split Back Top for $44. I just don't like prints like these. But we'll see. Look at her. This is a fall type color. Fall is coming soon. I can dig it. It is coming soon. Like, schools used to start after Labor Day, and now, like, they're starting, like, the second week in August. That's bullcrap. Like, it's still summer. I just need time at the pool. And when school is out in the middle of May, it is still practically snowing. Anyway, I'm done. And then this is the, it's called Jewel Tone Purple, Mark and Spruce Adler Embroidered Shoulder Knit Top. So I only really see one top kind of for going out. Let's go check it out. Okay, this is the Mark and Spruce Adler Embroidered Shoulder Knit Top. It is $48, and this is boring. Um, so it feels very nice, like a very soft t-shirt or whatever. It's a little clingy, so I think it would clean uh, sometimes in the, the bad spots. I'm okay with the color. It's more of a fall color. I'm more of a spring color person. Uh, I think it's just kind of boring. That's the only reason I like it. Uh, it has some nice little details to it. The lighting is so bad. And then, I don't know if you can see the back where it has just a little bit of details. But it fits well. It might actually be a little bit big for what I prefer, but with its clinginess, I think it's fine. It just doesn't do much for me and for $48. And I don't like sleeves like this. I just don't like this would be cute. I wouldn't do that. Or, Renee C. Tucker Mixed Print Split Back Top. It is $44. I actually like the uh, cut of it a lot better than I would expect. I don't really own anything like this that isn't a kind of like just a sports racer back, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, I kind of think it makes my shoulders look less broad, which I would think it would make them look more. I don't know. What do you think? I do wish it were a little bit longer. Um, it doesn't make me look as moomoo as I would expect. Because I think the material is a little bit softer. Anyway, it's definitely not my cup of tea, but I'm I like it a lot better than I would have expected. My favorite part of it, and this is gonna be so stupid, but I hope you can see this button. It's just like a classy little button look, like on like a uh, my sink hardware or something to look like that. I, I hope you can see what I'm talking about. So anyway, this is what it looks like. I do like that it has some pattern going on the back. I don't like where it looks like there's two different shirts on. I should have done this, but I was thinking of Dumbo. Um, yeah, these pants are a little bit too tight, and I look a little bit like an elephant. A pink one, so this is better. However, I do think that these go together very well, Alexandra. Um, I don't like, luckily, I do realize I really don't have cellulite stuff. Because you know, people wear like skin tight, skin colored things, you can see like things they didn't even know they had. So at least it just looks bad on my knees and up here. I'll show you that in a second. It looks real bad up there. So anyway, these are $98. They're the Mavi Hattie Skinny Jean, $98. So um, this is the shirt I believe she was talking about. I keep all my stuff from Stitch Fix and I have like a folder and it's like the only thing in my life that's organized is Stitch Fix stuff. Why? I don't know. Anywho, um, there are two that are missing and I think this one was. And suggestion, Alexandra, I would love it if they would put the date that they sent it to you on something so that you know when you got all this stuff. Because I've been doing this for like maybe two years. I mean, you've dealt with me for like a year. So like, it would be nice. If I could go back and look and be like, oh, that was from then. So anyway, I believe that this is what she's talking about. Could be forever fine because it was in my laundry because I wore it yesterday. I wasn't in love. We are a fly catching. So if you see like ninja dogs in the back, that's what's going on. Anywho, um, anywho, what? So this was one of those shirts that I was like, I kind of like, I really don't want, I wear it all the time. I do wish it were longer still, but whatever. I love it. Okay. Okay. So we're going to try on. I'm excited to try on. Kind of excited about the skirt. I'm not so sure. Um, but that top. Man. So, oh, I didn't even tell you about these jeans. So the jeans are a little too tight. And it's, it's hard because I wouldn't want them much bigger. So I do like snug fitting things, but I don't like... And then, I mean, let's just be honest. It's not a good color for a white girl. So, anywho, anyway. Why do I keep saying anywho? What is wrong with me? Uh, they're great length, like perfect length. And I really do like the color, like with this shirt and stuff. I have a skirt with this color that I've never worn. Now I know I can wear it with this. Uh, so I just don't. It's there's 
full size bag in the wrong color. I mean, that's that's pretty much it. The price point is more than I would want to spend for jeans, but the stuff, the couple pairs of pants I've gotten for Citrix, I wear them so much. Some of my Citrix clothing is actually now starting. I've worn so much, it is now deteriorating. That makes me sad, but you know. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this. <sighs> it's a little tight right here. <laughs> I probably need to lose a couple pounds. But yeah, it looks real bad, like FUPA City. Um, I think the butt looks real nice. If I could just display that, I would be super good hand. So, these are the jeans. See you in a second. We'll talk about the skirt first. It is the Love Pella Devon Pleated Mini Skirt, and it's $38. And I have a love-hate relationship with this skirt. It feels so nice. It's like maxi material. Um, like what most maxi kind of like soft t-shirt material. I don't know. Like probably cotton, whatever. I love it. It feels so comfortable. It feels like I'm not wearing anything. I love feeling naked but knowing that I'm not, if that makes sense. And it has pockets. And pockets will always raise something up for me. Like will always, I just love pockets. So um, I actually thought that it would look real poofy right here and not good, but I think it looks pretty good. Now, I don't know why they're calling it a mini skirt, because I could bring it up a little bit more and it still wouldn't be mini, and I could bring it down and it still wouldn't be mini. So, but I like that because, well, for one, I can move it up and down, but I can wear this to work. I still need to read, like, the, you know, handbook and see what I'm allowed to wear to work and not. So, um, it's very comfortable. I don't see it as, like, a going out skirt unless, like, I was in college and it was, like, Mud Monday or something like that. Like, it's not a fancy looking thing and it kind of does look like, excuse me, please smell my butt on television. Okay, um, anyway, so I just, I don't know, I don't really love it enough and if I'm going to wear something really comfortable that's a skirt and it's not going to look, anyway, pretty much I don't want to wear a maxi skirt or something because if I'm going to wear a skirt and be cute, I'm shaving my legs and that means it's too much effort to put something like this on. Make sense? Makes sense. Alright, now the shirt, I'm, I'm hoping they'll give me like another day or two. So, y'all, I just got a new computer, so hopefully my editing worries are over, but I've got to, I'm going to use a new program, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this up. Normally I work really hard when I get my clothing boxes, since there's like a time schedule, and I try to get them within 24 hours up. Normally that happens, but I like spend, it's, it's like an 8 to 12 hour process, depending on how my computer's working. Um, so, I, like I said, I got a new computer, and I'm going to try to use that and a new software to edit. So it may be really easy and user friendly. I'm hoping to get this up. It won't be up tonight. I mean, the sun's pretty much going down right now. So hopefully they'll give me an extension is what I was trying to say and that I should be putting out a little bit better movies soon after I get you know through the learning curve and if everything goes well, hopefully. And maybe you'll stop listening to me complain about my computer troubles. However, I always have computer troubles, so even with the best of them. All right, this shirt, is the reason that I need some time because this skirt is okay. Like it's thirty-eight dollars, so it's not too bad, especially if you took the twenty-dollar styling fee off. Um, but this shirt is the Paper Moon Rockland lace detailed knit top. I feel like Paper Moon like really likes to do thin lacy fabrics, so it's forty-four dollars, and I love it. However, let me get a little closer. What the heck kind of bra am I gonna wear under this? So let, if you've tried like the duct taping your boobs thing, let me know because I might try it. I just feel like the skin on my breasts should not be tugged and pulled and it makes me nervous. So, and cause I, you'd have to practice. Like I'm, I'm sure you just wouldn't do it right the first time. So here's my issue with this shirt. Well, I love it. It feels comfortable. It fits, it's a little bit bigger than I would actually wear for going out which is probably a good thing. I probably should wear a little bit clothes. And I love it. It's not skanky. It's a little, it's very sexy, but it's not like, you know, hey, I'm ready for you to take me home kind of thing, you know? Um, I love it. The things I don't like is, so my bra is barely concealed right here, my strapless. And I guess I could get a black one, but I don't, I mean, I rarely wear strapless. And this is like one of the, it's been hard to find a strapless bra that works for my large size. Like, I'm not huge, but like, it's just been hard, and I finally find one, and I don't need a black one. What? So, geez. And also, so I look like extra weird in places. I, I uh, need to put back on my self-tanner. 
and you know, it stays in some places, so it makes me look like I even have more weirdness. So anyway, sorry, I was doing really good at keeping this stuff short. So that's like a little bit too much bra showing, and I don't like it. And I tried it without a bra, and just, no, it looks a little bit too trashy for me to be wearing stuff without a so it shows a little bit too much. I do love the back. I love the front. I love the length. I just love this. The price isn't too bad because with the $20 styling fee off, it'll be $24. And I'll probably spend like $35 on this. Um, the other thing I really don't like though, and I gotta figure this out, is how to get this because I worked hard to get it up this, this far. Naturally, um, this is about where it goes. So it kind of makes me look a little bit lower, it kind of makes me look a little weird, like weirdly flat. And it's not supposed to be there. The straps are a little bit too long for me and they're not adjustable. So I would like this to be up a little bit higher and it would help the bra situation too. So if you guys have any trips, tips for that, I'll appreciate it besides just pinning that. I mean, I guess I could pin it, but this material is very thin and it, it feels like it's going to, I don't even feel like it's going to stretch. It just feels like it's going to break. Um, so like even just pulling on it just now, I'm kind of like, I don't want to break it. And that's another thing about this outfit shirt is I would rate it an eight out of 10. And Alexandra knows, Alexandra, I'm going to talk to you all the time now. Um, she knows that I like to put like numbers on things, but I, it is a little bit pricey. It's not that bad, but I just don't want to buy something for the care. I'm going to have to take of this. So pretty much just wash everything the same way. But anyway, and then I don't want it to break. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think. I, I do love this. I think it's pretty. And it's not too provocative. I, I like it. I think I could even wear this to a work function. Not I would not wear this to, you know, with my students or anything like that. But like, you know, a little happy hour after work or something. So, and it's really, really tiny. So like you could just throw it in a bag real fast and it's not like gonna wrinkle. Okay, so uh, this wasn't the best stitch fix, but I'm not upset. See, that's the thing. I was upset because I was getting so many that weren't okay. And I could see where she really worked with me um, and, and looked at myself and I haven't been keeping up my pen board and that might actually be like more helpful than hurtful. Like I don't know how you feel, Alexandra, but like, I feel like maybe my expectations were higher when I had that, or I'd be like, well, didn't you see that I just pinned this? And now, you know, I really just want her to focus on like a seasonal and colors instead of like specifics, I guess. And so, I don't know, does that make sense? All right, so I'm not bummed. There, you know, was only really one thing I loved and the skirt I like, the other three things, the, the coral is just a true like orangey, pinky coral. That should have been called like tomato soup or I don't know, something else. <laughs> so, but anyway, uh, so yeah, try Stitch Fix. Um, I just posted a Daily Look Elite. They did a lot better. I think my subscriptions though, uh, clothing, I'm just going to slow down for a little bit until I start my job and then I can go back to my addictions again and stuff. And these, these videos take forever, so <laughs> give me a little bit of a break. Uh, let me know if you've tried such fix, if you've had better luck, request Alexandra. I don't know if she would appreciate me saying that. Because I don't know. I don't think I don't know if they make commission or not. Uh, but please use my referral codes. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. And I hope that you all had a happy, happy fourth. Please give hugs and kisses to your animals. Oh my gosh, where did Bowman go? The one who was sniffing my hiney earlier. She went to West Virginia and went camping. She wants to be an outdoor dog, but I don't believe in outdoor dogs. But she would love to not be a city dog. And she just love the heck out of camping. She only went for a couple days in the West Virginia Hills, which is actually where she's from. They, she was in a high kill shelter and they were just gonna euthanize her as a little puppy. And so they, uh, the Humane Society here asked if I wanted to foster <laughs> and then I kept her. So I fostered her, fostered a lot of animals and I was pretty good about not keeping them, but then I had the weird oboe. So anyway, so I guess she was like back in her homeland in the hills of West Virginia and she was like, yay, country roads, take me home. So I didn't go. Um, Maddie and I are not campers. Maddie went camping once and she wouldn't, she wouldn't lay down. She hated it. She hated it, yeah. She liked like when it was just a walk and then once it got to like third mile, she's like, this is ridiculous. We're not getting anywhere. So anyway, yep, I try to make these short and then I just don't anymore. Okay. So anyway, if you were thinking about getting a pet, 
please check your local rescues and animal shelters and save a life. Until next time, see you later. Bye.